First time in years now, Utah is not in the top 10 of states for the highest suicide rate. The CDC recently released, released state rankings, and while some may be quick to applaud the improvement that Utah's suicide experts, they share why they are still concerned. Despite a worldwide pandemic and unprecedented stress and isolation, CDC data from 2021 shows Utah's rate of suicide decreased while the nations continued to rise. We actually saw one of our biggest single year decreases in a long time. Utah now ranks 14th for the highest suicide rate in the country when adjusted by age. But Michael Staley, suicide prevention research coordinator at the Office of the Medical Examiner, says that doesn't change the degree of emergency. 625, 630 Utahns lost their lives to suicide in uh, 2021, and that's that many too many. Staley says our drop in rank actually indicates other states' suicide rates growing worse. And I'm not going to celebrate tragedy somewhere else. Representative Steve Elison of Sandy, a prolific sponsor of mental health legislation, shares the same sentiment. We still lose far too many citizens and, and young people to suicide, so it's an issue that we can't take our, our, our foot off the gas. I am confident that the work that we're doing is making an impact. Staley and Elison both commend the efforts of local partners and individuals. 988, Warm Line, Safe UT, Hope Squads, we have all sorts of resources out there to help people, uh, to remind them that, that life's worth living. Now, schools routinely screen for vision and hearing problems, but not all Utah schools screen for mental illness. Tonight at 10, I ask, why not? If you or someone you know may be experiencing suicidal thoughts, we want to remind you help is available 24 hours a day. You can call or text the National Suicide Prevention Line at 988.